Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. We're joining you here today on day one of ITW in National Harbor, uh, where we have great guests joining us today, uh, like Luke McGregor, who's here with me from 5G Network, Network's uh, Chief Sales Officer. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, first of all, before we get into it, sure. I mean, I, I believe you said this is your fourth or fifth ITW. Yeah. How's the show going so far? Uh, really busy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's always really intense um, coming to these events, especially seeing lots of A Australians coming to these events. Yeah. Um, I see them more here than I do back at home. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's so it's really good. Yeah, and as you said, Australia, you, it's a long journey for it you yeah. over here. So. Well, this is a great um, opportunity, hopefully, for any of our viewers who may not know about um, 5G networks. If you could tell us just a little bit about the work that you're doing. Yeah, sure. I mean, um, you know, we're a, we're a boots on the ground provider, um, MIT space. Um, we basically are the providers of engineers and uh, people that go to site, um, you know, remote hands across Australia in, in every uh, capital city. Um, you know, we also service regional areas as well. Um, you know, we've got 90 field technicians that are purely set for servicing our customer base and, and anyone that's outside of Australia that doesn't have connect, connected people around. So, yeah. Yeah. And some of the things that are important, I think, across the industry for, you know, anyone who's talking is obviously reliability, uptime. Yeah. Why are these things uh, so important? I think from a redundancy point of view, you know, customers these days need reliability when it comes to network. Um, you know, they, they can't afford to have networks going down all the time. They need to be stable and reliable. Um, and that goes the same with, you know, our data centers and our diversified networks um, across the country, not just in Australia, Singapore, Tokyo, LA and New Zealand is our connected peering points. Um, so, yeah, we uh, we stand by reliability and customer service. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so critical, the yeah. service that you're providing. It's the difference between you know, how people are doing business day Absolutely. to day. And, and so just to s sort of step, I guess I was going to say back, but more like up a little <laughs> bit and look back. We Down for Australia. Down, yeah, right. <laughs> That's right. Um, we often, when we're at these shows, it's an opportunity to talk with folks about what what are some of the big trends globally yeah. that are happening and then also how that's different or the same in particular regions. What are you seeing in Australia? I, I think um, a lot of the um, outside um, companies, especially internationals, are coming to Australia because it's sort of in the middle of Asia and the middle of um, America. And it's sort right. of a spot that has, um, you know, power requirements for the, for the high usage needs in data centers today. I think for us, um, you know, the trends in regards to transit, uh, DC space, um, flexibility and reliability, I think is really crucial. Um, you know, we, we, um, we sit there and think that Australia is this, this big land of opportunity, but you know, it's, it's an opportunity for providers to come into the country and, um, and start to expand dramatically when it comes to power consumption, um, you know, capacity requirements um, and diversified uh, options, so yeah. Yeah, and, and so when you're dealing with many of these folks, some of whom you're, you're yeah. describing, um, Customer service becomes super important. You're chief sales officer. Yeah. You know all about this, right? <laughs> uh, and so thinking about customer service and reliability, how do you build that into your proposition at 5G Network? I think, you know, you need to have a differentiator in, in, in your business. And I think, you know, a lot of, a lot of companies grow um, dramatically. You know, we've had 18 acquisitions in our business since 2016. Oh, wow. Um, we listed it on the ASX in 2017. So, you know, for us, we sit back and say, why are we different? And the biggest thing for us is we're different because... You know, we connect our services for our customers very quickly. You know, we have a stability, a stable network, and also customer service is really crucial to retain that customer base. So when someone says to me, um, you know, Luke, what, you know, why do you love your job? It's because, you know, we can turn around and actually have a hand on our heart and say that we deliver a really good service for our customers. Yeah. And that's what's missing today. I think it's a, it's a big thing that we need to really uh, take care of. Yeah, yeah. absolutely agree. <laughs> and um, so thank you, no by the way, I know, so busy. I really appreciate, okay. we all appreciate that you were able to take a few minutes here yeah. to tell us a little bit about your organization. I've actually anything? got a bit of an exclusive for you as well. Oh, you so do? No. I was just going to say, is there anything <laughs> so we're, you um, want to... So we're basically any, any customers that um, come into our data centers, we're offering any dark fiber connectivity to about 50 data centers across Australia for free. So it's included in the package. Oh, wow. So we're offering uh, any dark fiber across, um, across country now in our data centers towards any other DC providers. So Wow. 
hot That's off the amazing. press. Oh, hot <laughs> off the press. Thank you. Yeah, like, no problems. You stole the words out of my mouth. I was like, what can you tell us? Yeah, right. Um, well, that's amazing. And wow, you've been busy and yeah. you'll continue to be busy. I'm sure we yeah. look forward to seeing you throughout the week and uh, as the as the years progress to see how, how things are continuing to move forward. Thank you so you much for team. having me and thanks for watching. Yeah. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking. Happy networking.